Jess Parker in Downing Street for us. Let's return now to the situation in Vienna following that uh, shooting last night. A manhunt underway uh, after four people were killed and uh, a number of others, another 17 people in fact, wounded in the attack. Uh, the authorities saying uh, the gunman who was shot was an Islamic State uh, sympathizer. Uh, let's uh, talk now to Lucas uh, Mandel, who's uh, an Austrian MEP from the ruling Austrian People's Party. Uh, Lucas, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, just bring us right up to date. We spoke to uh, a journalist from Der Standard newspaper a few minutes ago uh, from the government perspective on, on the status of this manhunt. Do the authorities think they are looking for sure for more than one person? Uh, in my view, I, I speak as an elected official, not as a government representative, but I really appreciate what police forces, military forces, and uh, also ambulance and hospitals uh, have been doing since uh, last night in Vienna. And what they do is seeking out each and everything that can be found about these Islamic State terrorists. And uh, due to the fact that at least uh, six sites were attacked in the heart of Vienna, in the city center, which I know very well. Uh, I can imagine that there was more than one terrorist, but uh, it's really on behalf of the police and the authorities to seek everything out, everything that's connected with that. And the terrorists, the Islamists can be assured we will not stand back and we will fight this sick ideology uh, as much as we can in Austria, in Europe, and all over the world, because what we defend is liberal democracy, is rule of law, is freedom, is human dignity, is our European way uh, of life. Investigations are ongoing and uh, terrorists will be found. It's all the more shocking for Austria, isn't it? Because there hasn't been a terrorist attack, an attack of this nature for a very long time, has there? Uh, that's actually true. Uh, I myself was remembered uh, in the, the very first minutes uh, of uh, this whole attempt uh, on the attack in Strasbourg, where the European Parliament has its seat uh, nearly two years ago. I was there as well as I was in Vienna uh, yesterday. Uh, but things in Vienna uh, really got uh, very, very severe and serious and that's why it's so important we stick together that's why i'm so grateful for many sympathies and condolences from all over the world from all parts of the world and especially within europe where, where we stand strongly together uh, and fight this ideology in order to defend for us and future generations for our children our values and our european way of life in a very broad sense, you know, given that we've had the two recent attacks in France, do you think that there may be either individuals or, or, or groups of people uh, who, who have looked at that and thought, uh, we will launch an attack now as well? You know, do, do you think it works like that in terms of uh, where these people take their, their, their inspiration from, if, you, if I can use that word? I don't want to speculate, but uh, what we can say as of now is that uh, there is a connection to this sick ideology of Islamism, of political Islam. And this is true for France. Uh, and I felt a lot of sympathy with France last week. Uh, we also experienced in the last days before yesterday's attack, uh, right in the evening before uh, the lockdown has started due to the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Uh, before that, in the head of that uh, yesterday's attack, uh, we have seen uh, uh, vandalism in churches uh, in Vienna. We have seen a nun, a Catholic nun, uh, attacked in another part of Austria, uh, everything within three or four days. So uh, maybe due to the pandemic, we've heard it uh, in uh, what you have broadcasted right before this now. Uh, due to the pandemic, maybe our societies are more vulnerable. And that's why uh, it's even more important to stick together and to fight uh, against Islamism and terrorism. OK, Lucas Mandel, Austrian MEP, thank you very much for joining us this morning to react to uh, what happened in Vienna yesterday. Take care.